this episode of Ivy Acres is a tribute to my dad who does an exceptional job with his Christmas lights. I didn't actually do any Christmas lights myself this year. I was just a little too busy. Um, but I did put a couple of ribbons out on our uh, lamppost at the end of the driveway and I brought out these uh, reindeer that I made the first year that we bought our place. But my dad, he really goes all out every year for Christmas. Mostly, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, time lapse walking through his place to show you um, the different decorations. And uh, I'll probably throw in a few stories and uh, maybe a few still pictures as well. decorates the house and yard he does his filbert orchard as well he's put a bunch of these uh, posts with extra circuits and uh, conduit underground so he has enough capacity to uh, to uh, get the job done So dad really wants everybody to uh, feel like they can enjoy his Christmas lights. Uh, sometimes when you're driving by, you feel like, well, maybe it's an intrusion to slow down or really to, to, to look closely at the Christmas lights. But uh, my dad, he put out these uh, little, little courtesy signs uh, so people know that they're welcome to drive by slow, turn off their lights, enjoy the enjoy the all the work he's put out out there there was one year uh, one of my favorite stories uh, I think it was 1996 that uh, a tour bus actually came up the driveway and, and turned around uh, to uh, to see the lights some family I guess uh, had a tradition of, of uh, visiting Christmas lights and just had enough people they decided it would make more sense to just have everybody in a bus rather than uh, take their own cars and uh, my dad's place was definitely on the list for them uh, they stopped in the driveway and uh, sang Christmas carols and uh, and dad was uh, answering their questions it was a uh, it was pretty pretty special I think Another one of my favorite uh, stories with my dad in Christmas is uh, the local paramedics out at dad's place uh, have to respond to a lot of accidents. My dad lives kind of on a corner, um, kind of a, a sharp, sharp-ish turn on the road just before uh, a long straightaway in a kind of a country setting. So. Uh, a lot of people are driving a little too fast when they hit that turn or they're trying to speed up too quickly when they're coming around the turn to make up some time on the straightaway and there are car wrecks there so the paramedics have a shorthand for uh, talking to each other and uh, they've named that spot Christmas Corner so they can just say, oh, we've got to go respond to Christmas Corner, and they know exactly what they're talking about because Dad's uh, Christmas lights are that much of a landmark.
my dad really has uh, planned out his electrical system so that he knows exactly uh, what's safe to run for any one circuit without overloading anything and uh, as a consequence he uh, he trims his trees and bushes without mercy uh, he doesn't want anything to get any bigger than it is because then it would require more strings of Christmas lights and uh, might he might not have enough capacity to uh, to accommodate everything that he wants to decorate. So everything you see that has Christmas lights on it, basically that's the size dad wants it to stay forever. <laughs> my brother, uh, he says the trees start shaking when he, they see my dad come out with the pruners. And uh, I think that's probably a, a good way to describe it. Oh, here's another interesting point. My dad has speakers outside on his property so he can broadcast Christmas music. And uh, he doesn't have any neighbors that are real close by, uh, nobody within shouting distance. And uh, an interesting little story, a lot of the neighbors, instead of saying, well, why are you playing that music so loud? They've, they've asked him to play it even louder so they can enjoy it. It just really puts everybody in the right frame of mind for, uh, for the season. A lot of people ask about my dad's electric bill this time of year. And uh, he's been transitioning to LED lights, which saves a good deal of money. Um, besides the, you know, of course he's got a lot of bead lights and the rope lights that are, are regular stuff. But um, uh, lately, his uh, electric bill has been maybe about $300 more this month than uh, normal months. Uh, but before, when it was mostly incandescent lights, uh, he was paying maybe $500 more a month just to, just to have the Christmas lights for the, for the neighborhood. Of course, I have to end by saying that uh, Dad really wants the focus of all of his work out here to be on the Christian story behind Christ Christmas. Uh, that's, that's the real reason he, he uh, puts all this effort in.